We start today by acknowledging that Stanford sits on the ancestral and unceded lands of the Muwekma Ohlone tribe. This land was and continues to be of great importance to Native people. We recognize that every member of the community has benefited and continues to benefit from the use and occupation of this land. Consistent with our values of community and diversity, we have a responsibility to acknowledge and make visible the university's relationship to Native people. Thank you. Welcome everyone to the Stanford Biology Department virtual commencement celebration for 2021. I am Martha Seyard, I'm chair of the biology department and I will be your master of ceremonies for today. First, I want to start by congratulating our amazing group of graduating seniors, as well as our PhD and master's students and noting how very proud all of us are of your accomplishments. This is truly a joyous occasion, and it is my greatest pleasure to be celebrating with you today. I also want to extend a special welcome to the families and friends of our graduates, because it's thanks to your support that our students have reached the finish line in this unprecedented year. This is a huge accomplishment for you as well, and I want to be sure that you celebrate your part of this amazing achievement. For all of you, 2021 will be a very special year in your memory, an unforgettable year, in fact. And it's actually been a pretty amazing year that has challenged all of us to pull together as a community. Here at Stanford, we saw a lot of exciting events. We saw our women's basketball team win a national championship. And here in our part of the campus, we witnessed months of demolition as Heron Hall came down with uh, flying concrete everywhere and drilling and uh, all kinds of heavy equipment. And now that demolition has made room for construction of a new data sciences building to be opened in a few years. Of course, there have also been huge challenges in 2021 across the world. And you have all faced those challenges with creative problem solving, with inspiration, with dedication and hard work. And you've pushed your Stanford journey forward to a very successful conclusion. It's an amazing time to be a biologist, isn't it? And we've all been part unwittingly of a huge biology experiment this past year. I know that you're going to put this experience to good use, as well as the training you've received here. And hopefully with all of your hard work, you will ensure a healthy and flourishing future, not only for ourselves, but for all life on our planet. While we are very sad not to, not to be able to share this happy event with you today in person, in this virtual celebration, we'll be highlighting our graduates and award winners. First, we're gonna hear from some of our graduating students. Then we will announce the winners of our annual department commencement awards. And then we will conclude by recognizing individual graduating students by degree program. We hope you will enjoy with us this very happy virtual celebration. Hello, class of 2021 biology graduates. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Adonis and I'm graduating from the undergraduate biology program with you all. You've heard it many times by now, but it excites me to say congratulations on graduating and completing the biology program. In addition to celebrating our many achievements and accomplishments at Stanford, this is also a time to acknowledge all we have overcome and endured to reach this moment. Pierre-Paul Emile Roux, a French bacteriologist once eloquently said, science appears calm and triumphant when it is completed, but science and the process of being done is only contradiction and torment, hope and disappointment. Those of us who have conducted research throughout our undergrad careers know this to be true, but every Stanford student knows that this sentiment applies beyond research and science. Duck syndrome is real. Many of you are receiving all of your accolades and recognitions this weekend, but I want to especially recognize all of your struggles, your resilience, and your dedication to your passions. Because beyond our coursework, our research commitments, and extracurriculars, we truly have all had moments in which we've had to paddle frantically just to stay afloat. We have encountered challenges to our mental health, 
questioned whether we belong here and been confronted by what seems like the perpetual cruelty of the world. And then we had to endure COVID-19. But it is through these challenging experiences that we have grown as students, biologists, and individuals. In the wake of COVID-19, we have seen countless instances of Stanford students coming together to support each other and build community wherever we are. We have seen remarkable coalitions and alliances built to advocate for true social justice and equity. And we have witnessed the record development of not just one, but multiple vaccines against an infectious disease. While the future remains uncertain, at least for me, I am comforted by the thought that we can handle tremendous obstacles. Our track record shows that we are able to adapt and come back stronger than ever when we support each other. I am honored to have had the opportunity to take this journey with you all. So many of you have been the ones to help me through challenging moments and have inspired me to persist in both my academic and life journeys. While we are all happy and calm this weekend, we have seen each other throughout the process in our moments of contradiction and torment, hope and disappointment. You have been the ones who have been there when I messaged frantically, worrying about not understanding the P-set for the biology core. You have been the ones who have reassured and hugged me outside of SAP after feeling devastated following an OCHEM final. And you have been the ones to encourage me to follow my own path and apply to a PhD program, something I never would have imagined four years ago. Among us, there are future doctors, teachers, physician scientists, researchers, counselors, policymakers, and so much more. Whatever path you take, I'm uplifted to know the change that we will bring to make this world a better place, no matter what challenges are thrown at us. Thank you all and congratulations again. Hello everyone. My name is Sunny Eskenazi and I'm a graduate of the Department of Biology's Co-Terminal Master's Program here at Stanford. It is my great honor to be addressing you as a student speaker on behalf of the master's students of the class of 2021. There are many people I would like to thank that made these last five years possible. But first and foremost, I would like to thank my family. To my parents, these degrees are only possible because of your sacrifices, kindness, and endless support. I feel very blessed to have you by my side as I continue to grow. Secondly, I would like to thank my research supervisor, Jessica Feldman, my lab mentor, Jeremy Majeskis, and the rest of the Feldman lab. It is the combination of their enthusiasm towards science and the collaborative atmosphere they strive to create that made me so passionate about basic science research. I would also like to acknowledge my major advisor, Professor Marta Syert, who has guided me throughout both my undergraduate and graduate degrees. Lastly, I would like to thank all my friends who have supported me throughout this journey. Biology has always fascinated, and my friends and family all know how much I like to talk about what I study. This is because I'm very proud of trying to answer questions that can one day improve human life. However, 2020 and 2021 have shown me another responsibility that comes with our degree, science advocacy. As graduates, it is not our job, it is not only our job to push the boundaries of our scientific knowledge, but also advocate for increased accessibility to science and increased adoption of scientific principles. The widespread denial of science in the midst of the pandemic was just another example of how we are also responsible of increasing the general public's trust towards scientific innovations. This is only possible if we keep science collaborative. Coming to the United States for college, my greatest concern was whether or not I'd fit in the academic environment of a new country. Well, this quickly disappeared thanks to the inclusive community of our department. And yet this is not the case everywhere. As we take steps towards the future and towards furthering our respective fields, I encourage everyone to also reflect on the importance of working with a group of individuals that come from different backgrounds. Research is undoubtedly a challenging path, but I find that if you have people that support you along the way and encourage you to keep asking the risky or innovative questions, it can be quite rewarding. The ups and downs of science come and go, but having a supportive community like the one we had here at Stanford is something I will always continue to cherish. Lastly, I would also like to congratulate my peers who conferred their degrees from our department in 2020. They have also shown immense resilience to the pandemic 
And I have no doubt that they will use the skill sets we have developed throughout our years to work towards the betterment of humanity. I hope to see some in a future graduation ceremony we will have. Once again, congrats to the classes of 2020 and 2021. It was an honor to be your peer, and I hope that our paths will cross again. Hello, everyone. My name is Sergio Alan Redondo Rendon, and I'm from the Ecology and Evolution track. There are a lot of people I want to thank today, but the first thanks will go to my family, so I'll be speaking in Spanish for a bit. Quiero agradecerle a mi familia por todo el esfuerzo y todos los sacrificios que tomaron para que yo pudiera llegar a esta etapa de mi educación. A mis papás, Ada y Francisco, a mi hermano Jesús y su pareja Stephanie, mi sobrinita Dalín, mis abuelos Nelly y Rosendo, a mis tías, tíos, primas y primos a todos. No ha sido fácil estar lejos de mi familia tantos años, pero siempre he contado con su apoyo. También quiero darles reconocimiento a Los Ángeles que me han cuidado todos estos años, mi tía Elisa, mi primo Cuquín, mi tío Juan y mi nana Rosa. En los momentos más difíciles siempre me han cargado adelante. Este logro es para toda mi familia y mi pueblo. Sí se pudo. I also want to thank my advisor, Liz Hadley, my lab mates, mentees, and the countless mentors that I have had at Stanford, including Blanca, Anika, Chris, Margaret, Elvira, and Jacob, just to name a few, for helping me push through. To all my friends, but especially to Jessica, Dorothy, Tanya, Jorge, and Giselle, thank you for always having my back. We've been through so much, and I could not have done this without you all by my side. Over this last year, and a half, COVID-19 has, COVID has impacted the world in many ways, and it is not something that we are likely to forget during our lifetimes, and we should not. It is a reminder of the delicate balance of nature, which humans continue to test. We have destroyed so many facets of the planet and continue to stress out even the remnant pieces and species. However, we can still slow down these impacts if we take action now. I have had the privilege of working with remarkable scientists and leaders among our faculty, postdocs, staff, and trainees, including my fellow graduates here with me today. Whether we are studying cells, organisms, populations, or ecosystems at large, we have a responsibility to put our skills to the test in helping to solve some of the leading challenges of the world. I have full faith that each one of you will make a positive impact in our communities and across the globe but I ask each of you not to take this responsibility lightly. In fact, I challenge you to step outside of Stanford and listen. Every day I'm reminded that inequities continue to plague our society. So don't use this degree to overshadow others, but to empower them, to give a voice to the voiceless, to open the scientific and uh, scientific endeavor and processes to communities that have been disenfranchised or marginalized in the past to create platforms that disseminate accessible information, to engage with scientists and people that are not like you, to rebuild trust between academia and society, to fight for justice and equity, to remember that Black lives matter, that we are on indigenous land, that kids should not be in cages, that we need to stop Asian and Pacific Islander hate, that queerness should be celebrated, that immigrants are an integral part of this institution and country, and that our identities are as important to our science as our methods. Science at its core is meant to push the boundaries and create new knowledge. So let's leave our comfort zones behind and be better scientists for the future. Congrats to the classes of 2020 and 2021. We did it. Thank you to Adonis, Sani, and Sergio for sharing their thoughts, perspectives, and well wishes. We will now move on to present the annual Department Commencement Award winners. First, we have the Fox Award. The Stephen Fox Award is awarded to the most outstanding undergraduate in biology. The Stephen Fox Memorial Fund was established at In Memoriam for Stephen Fox, a Stanford student studying biology and music and it includes an award of $1,000. It is my greatest pleasure to announce the 2021 award recipient of the Fox Group Award as Ji Wu Lee. Yay, Ji Wu Lee. I've known her since she was a freshman and took Bio 60 with me. She's earning a BS in biology with honors and a specialization in computational biology. In her time at Stanford, Ji Wu has performed groundbreaking research, 
She's been a member of our undergraduate studies committee. She's taken a challenging course load, volunteered at the Stanford Free Clinic, led the BrioBridge peer advising a team and so much more. Jiwoo's scientific accomplishments are particularly impressive, earning her multiple first authorship papers and even the chance to speak as a future top innovator at Wired Magazine's 25th anniversary symposium. Jiwoo plans to pursue a career as a physician, physician scientist. Congratulations, Jiwoo. Next, we have the Wessels Award. The Norman K. Wessels Award is given to an outstanding undergraduate or graduate course assistant and includes an award of $1,000. And it is my pleasure to announce that Tyler McFadden is receiving the Norman K. Wessels Award for 2021. Tyler is earning his PhD in the lab of Professor Rodolfo Durzo, and his research focuses on maintaining biodiversity and ecosystem function. Tyler has a strong passion for teaching, and this in combination with his knowledge as an ornithologist led him to develop an undergraduate ornithology course. Tyler's nominator also called out his significant outreach work, including starting an ecology research program that serves local kids from challenged underserved communities. Congratulations, Tyler. Next, we have the Weinstein Award. The Lauren D. Weinstein Award is awarded to an outstanding undergraduate researcher or instructor who exhibits the dedication to life and science education that ex was exemplified by Lawrence we Lauren Weinstein, class of 88. And this award is also includes a $1,000 cash award. Again, my greatest pleasure to announce that the 2021 Lauren Weinstein Award winner is Rishabh Kapoor. Rishabh will be receiving his BS in biology with honors and a specialization in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Rishabh is being recognized for his outstanding work co-developing a student-initiated course with one other student under the direction of Professor Noah Rosenberg. Rishup demonstrates an incredible maturity in regard to his science pedagogy and his thirst for learning in a large number of fields. Next year, Rishup will be pursuing a PhD in systems, synthetic, and quantitative biology. Congratulations to Rishup. Wonderful accomplishment. Next, we have the Kalman Award. The Francis Liu Kalman Award is given to a female graduate student in recognition of special excellence in coursework, teaching and or research and includes an award of $1,000. And it is my pleasure to announce that Caitlin Chang will be our, is our 2020 Kalman Award recipient. Caitlin will be, is receiving her PhD under the supervision of Professor Timothy Stearns. Katie's PhD work has focused on the cell biology of olfactory sensory neurons, and it's beautiful work. Literally, the images uh, Katie has uh, coll collected over her time, as well as incredibly informative. Katie's nominator notes that Katie stands apart in the level of truly independent, creative thought, combined with a remarkable talent for dealing with challenging biological systems and getting complex experiments to work. Katie is also commended for skill as a classroom instructor. After graduation, Katie will be pursuing postdoctoral work at UCLA. Congratulations, Katie. Next, we have the Yanofsky Prize, which is named in honor of Charles Yanofsky, uh, a former faculty member in our department, a long, long-standing faculty member in our department. And this prize is given in my molecular biology and goes to an outstanding graduate student working in the field of molecular biology. And it also includes a cash award of $1,000. Devin King is our 2021 Yanofsky Prize winner. Congratulations, Devin. I know Devin well, I'm on his thesis committee and I can attest to his uh, absolute uh, deservedness for this award. 
Devin will be earning his PhD in biology under the supervision of Professor Ashby Morrison. His PhD work has earned him two co-first author publications. Devin exemplifies the spirit of the Yanofsky Award due to the experimental work he's done in the past two years, developing a novel DNA lesion attic mapping techniques that allow us to map DNA lesions across the entire genome at single base resolution, a technique that is integral to a, a main line of investigation in the Morrison lab. Congratulations, Devin. Next, we have the Carlin Prize. The Samuel Carlin Prize is given in mathematical biology, and it goes to the graduate student whose dissertation thesis reaches the highest standard of mathematical biology, and it also includes a cash award of $1,000. It honors Professor Samuel Carlin of Stanford's mathematics department, who's a long-term collaborator of many of us in the department, including myself and really someone that took great joy in his work. On the occasion of his 70th birthday, Sam Carlin's students produced a book on mathematical biology in his honor. And it's the royalties from this book that accumulate to provide uh, the cash award that goes along with this prize. And it is my, again, greatest pleasure to announce that Richard Gruel is the 2020 award recipient of the Carlin Award. Richard, I got to know well when he TA'd in my Bio 60 class, and uh, he's incredibly deserving of this award. Richard will be receiving his PhD in biology at Hopkins Marine Station under the supervision of Professor Giulio DeLeo. Among other work, Richard exemplifies the spirit of the Carlin Award in his by developing a model that connects the production of genetic variability with increases in genome size. Richard's nominator notes that his high number of publications while at Stanford, four, and his commitment to broadening the interest in mathematical biology by supporting all kinds of educational initiatives. Wonderful accomplishment, Richard, and all my heartiest congratulations to you. Next, I'm going to be announcing the Centennial Teaching Awards. These awards were established in 1989 to recognize and reward the outstanding teaching by our many teaching assistants in the schools of humanities and sciences, earth, energy and environmental sciences and engineering. In the School of Humanities and Sciences, departments nominate teaching assistants who they believe deserve special recognition for outstanding contributions to teaching. As a department, we are invited to nominate four students every other year. And for 2021, the department awarded these Centennial Teaching Awards to Kalita Denton, Hannah Fung, Maurice Goodman, and Michelle Pang. Thank you so much, the four of you, for your amazing contributions to our curriculum, to our teaching, to our students, and congratulations on this wonderful achievement. In recognition of your accomplishment, all of you will be receiving a certificate and also a cash award of $500. Finally, I'm going to end by announcing the Excellence in Teaching Awards. These awards are given to superb undergraduate and graduate course or teaching assistants. All award recipients will receive a certificate to honor their accomplishment. This year, we acknowledge uh, the following students, Igor Olympiev, Ellie Armstrong, Shamili Bain, Sani Eskenazi, Luisa Jenis, Maurice Goodman, Billy Goolsby, Tyler Hammond, Christopher Knight, Julie Coe, Yash Prashad, Karen Ragland, Evan Saldivar, Daniel Shakovich, Chris Yu, and Junkin Zhu. Congratulations to all of you, uh, all of you excellence in teaching awardees. And I want to extend a final congratulations to all of our award winners. I also do want to note that there are a few other awards that unfortunately the winners 
uh, will be determined after we uh, finish this recording. So this concludes this portion of the ceremony and we will now move on to the recognition of our graduates. Hello graduates. My name is Jose Dinini and I'm an associate professor of biology and proudly serve you as the director of graduate studies. I want to congratulate all of our students for the perseverance and resilience you've all shown throughout your degrees and now under the most challenging of times. As a community, we've seen loss, injustice, and a stark diminishment of our quality of life. We've socially distanced, been distant from campus, and become emotionally distant from the ones we care about most. This is certainly not the ending to your degree that you or I had envisioned. And yet, each of you are here virtually as we recognize all of your extraordinary accomplishments. From one perspective, we can see how the great strength of our curiosity has been a sustaining force that has kept us all going. We see beauty in the intricacies of biochemical pathways or the extensive interactions that bind organisms together in an ecosystem. When the challenges of our world blur our vision from tears in our eyes, we look up to the heights of a redwood tree or the puff of a blue whale's breath and marvel at the titans of our world. Or we look down through the objective of a microscope to see a menagerie of spindles, membranes, and tubules as busy and complex as a Jackson Pollock painting. One of the most important privileges we have all had at Stanford is to explore the world to the limits of our curiosity. And this privilege has been life-sustaining for many of us. I also hope that this last year of your degree has reframed what you will do with this privileged opportunity. Many people have sacrificed their way of life long before our time here at Stanford, from the native peoples that called this place home, to the black slaves that built this country, to the Chinese laborers that connected California to the rest of the country, to the generations of farm workers that grow the crops that feed our families, and now the healthcare workers that are fighting to keep us alive during a pandemic. You stand on the shoulders of an ocean of people that have longed for more. What will you do to make your life more than about you? Now we will recognize our graduates, beginning with the Doctor of Philosophy degree candidates. Christopher Anderson, earning a PhD with a dissertation title, Biodiversity Monitoring, Earth Observations and the Ecology of Scale. Katie Cheng, earning a PhD with a dissertation title, Centrial and Cilium Formation in the Development of Mouse Olfactory Sensory Neurons. Rachel Crane, earning a PhD with a dissertation title, Resistance and Repair of Mechanical Fatigue in Muscle Shells. Glade Devot, earning a PhD with a dissertation title, a morphology framework for understanding fungal bacterial interactions in soil. Anne Duncan, earning a PhD with a dissertation title, Pathogen Suppression of Host Defense, Weapons and Mechanisms of ZOP-X. Naomi Ganuth, earning a PhD with a dissertation title, A Cellular Roadmap of Ribosome Heterogeneity that controls cell fate and organismal development. Yan Gong, earning a PhD with a dissertation title, Functional Analysis of Polarity Protein Dynamics in the Arabidopsis to Model Lineage. Sherelle Rachel Kahana Report, earning a PhD with a dissertation title, an integrative approach to understanding how body size affects physiology, ecology, and conservation. Laura Lopez Nanda, earning a PhD with the dissertation title, Accumulation and Heritability of Mutations in Reef Building Corals. Jess Martin, earning a PhD with the dissertation title, Bidirectionality and Host Parasite Interactions. Tyler McFadden, earning a PhD with a dissertation title, Maintaining Biodiversity and Ecosystem Function. Andrew McKay, 
earning a PhD with the dissertation title, An Automatic Feeding System for the African Killifish Reveals Effects of Dietary Restriction on Lifespan and Allows Automatic Assessment of Reward-Based Learning Behaviors. Jakob Mo Lang, earning a PhD with a dissertation title, A Role for a Mechanosensitive Ion Channel in Long Distance Electrical Signaling in Arabidopsis. Nicole Elizabeth Moyen, earning a PhD with a dissertation title, Cellular and Organismal Strategies for Heat Acclimation in a Thermally Variable Environment. Brian Raftree, earning a PhD with the dissertation title, DOC1 Regulates Coronary Artery Specification. Sergio Redondo Rendon, earning a PhD with the dissertation title, Signals of a Persistent Pollutant, Characterizing Anthropogenic Mercury Bioaccumulation and Biomagnification Across Soil Terrestrial Habitats. Ariana Sanchez, earning a PhD with the dissertation title, Proximity Labeling at Non-Centrosomal Microtubule Organizing Centers in C. elegans Epithelial Cells, reveals mechanisms of microtubule regulation. Shu Lu Sun, earning a PhD with the dissertation title, Cortical Neural Population Dynamics for Flexible Motor Control and Motor Learning. Claire Venard, earning a PhD with the dissertation title, Characterizing Cilium Disassembly in the Developmental Program of Chytrid Fungi. Renzi Yang, earning a PhD with the dissertation title, Dynorphin Modulation of Striatal Plasticity in Reward-Guided Instrumental Learning. Congratulations to all of our Doctor of Philosophy degree candidates. We will continue with the Master of Science degree candidates. Alex Dion, earning a master's degree in biology. Sani Eskenazi, earning a master's degree in biology and a bachelor's of science with honors with a specialization in molecular cell and developmental biology. Sabrina Rosa Kuta, earning a master's degree in biology and a bachelor's of science with honors with specialization in neurobiology. Rishali Patel, earning a master's degree in biology and a bachelor's of science with honors with a specialization in computational biology. Nana Ainsua Peterson, earning a master's degree in biology and a bachelor's of science with honors with a specialization in microbes and immunity. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Hi, I'm Tad Hukami. I'm the director of undergraduate studies. Whether you're receiving a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or a PhD, it is a big accomplishment. Congratulations on your graduation. We are so proud of you. The world is counting on you, the next generation of biologists to contribute to solving some of the most urgent issues that challenge the modern society, including the ecological crisis, infectious diseases, and many more. Each of you have the capacity now to make a difference in these issues, and I hope that you make good use of it toward a better relationship between people and nature, of which people are just part. But more than that, I hope you'll be able to pursue your passion, whatever that might be, to the fullest extent possible in your life. Best wishes for your next adventure. Now, we'll recognize all of the biology graduates who are earning a bachelor's degree. Yasmin al Saif, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors with a specialization in biochemistry and biophysics. Fadan Sai Ambati, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in computational biology. 
Laura Chavez Anderson, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in marine biology. Luis Ariola, earning a Bachelor of Science. Kevin Begay, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Margo Lelin, earning a Bachelor of Science. Foster Bambon, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Noah Tinu Brazer, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Juliana Silva Brunello, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Jana Burnside, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in Neurobiology. Cam Burton, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in Neurobiology. Gawain Calvin, earning a Bachelor of Science. Quentin Chi, earning a Bachelor of Arts and Science with a specialization in Neurobiology. Sun Hei Choi, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors. Rebecca Christensen, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors with a specialization in microbes and immunity. Reese Duarte, earning a Bachelor of Science. Abby Flashley, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in biochemistry and biophysics. Nicholas Gessner, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors with a specialization in Neurobiology. Jacob Green, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors with a specialization in Molecular, Cellular, and Developmental Biology. Sierra R, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors with a specialization in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Jared Heisinger, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in biochemistry and biophysics. Ruhi Kamba, earning a Bachelor of Science. Rishabh Kapoor, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Sandra Kong, earning a Bachelor of Science. Christian Contaxis, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Amanda Kuhn, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors. Josephine Elise Krieger, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Kate LeBlanc, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors. 
Ji Wu Li, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in computational biology. Eric Liu, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Sarah Ludington, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in neurobiology. Dimitri Maxim. Earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in computational biology. Olivia Rose Mitchell, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in microbes and immunity. Grace Muller, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors. With a specialization in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Avery Elizabeth Munez, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in neurobiology. Sake Munani, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors. With a specialization in neurobiology. Joseph No, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in microbes and immunity. Jonathan Chi, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in neurobiology. Emma Rachel Rashes, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in computational biology. Adonis Rubio, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in microbes and immunity. Conrad Safranek. Earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in computational biology. Renata Starbird, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in microbes and immunity. Maria Valentina Suarez Nieto, earning a Bachelor of Science. With a specialization in neurobiology, Varun Ramanan Subramaniam, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in computational biology, Anna Sikia, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors. With a specialization in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Min Chen Tan, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in microbes and immunity. Lia Tobi, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in neurobiology. Lidiana Torrio, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in neurobiology. Anais Sai, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Julian Minoru Wright Ueda. Earning a Bachelor of Science with honors, with a specialization in ecology and evolution. Panayotis Vandris, 
earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in microbes and immunity. Catherine Wong, earning a Bachelor of Science with honors. Emily Yang, earning a Bachelor of Science with a specialization in microbes and immunity. Hello everybody, uh, this is Rodolfo Dilso, one of the faculty members in the biology department. I am joining my colleagues to congratulate you on this fantastic achievement. Congratulations class of 2021. This has been a very complicated year, a very challenging year, but I am so proud to see you persevering and coming to this event of graduation in this year. Congratulations again and all the best for your future endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2021. I am so proud of all of you for making it through during exceptionally difficult times. I am so excited for all of you to go out and start making the world a better place now that you're graduating from Stanford. It was such a pleasure to get to know many of you through teaching and from the honors program, and I know there are some great things in store for each and every one of you. Congrats again, and I hope you get a chance to celebrate this wonderful milestone of graduating from Stanford with family and friends this weekend or sometime really soon. Congratulations, class of 2021. I wish I could see you and shake your hand in person. You're all truly heroic, finishing up in a year like this and now heading out into the world at a time when the world needs biologists like never before. I'm I'm really heartened and really inspired, really impressed. Congratulations to all of you. Hi, class of 2021. Uh, for those of you I haven't met, uh, my name is Kabir Pei, and I teach ecology and fungal biology. Uh, and I know this is a really challenging year for many of you. Um, and uh, I'm incredibly proud of how all of you have managed to persevere and what you've accomplished under the circumstances. Um, and really from here on out, everything should be a smooth sailing by comparison. So congratulations class of 2021 for all that you've accomplished and all that you will accomplish in the future. Congratulations class of 2021. I'm proud of all of you. It's been a tough time to be finishing up college, but there are brighter days ahead. And I look forward to seeing where all of you go. Hey, BioGrads, I wish we could be celebrating in person, but I got all kind of dressed up to celebrate with you to basically say, yay, you survived Zoom University. And you're uh, just basically, I hope having a terrific day with your family celebrating graduating from Stanford. We're so proud of you and happy for you. And so congratulations to the class of 2021. And oh my gosh, am I gonna regret it when I have to clean up all this confetti? But it's biodegradable, so what the heck. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. Wishing you the very best. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, class of 2021. The biology student services team has enjoyed supporting you during your time at Stanford, and we wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Congratulations! Congratulations. Woo! You did it. That brings us to the conclusion of our ceremony today. And I want to end by once more congratulating all of our graduates. And I also want to thank you. Thank you to you and your families. 
Thank you for deciding to join our diverse community of biologists. Thank you for sharing your Stanford journey with us. It has been our pleasure to see you change and mature, not only as scientists, but also as people, and to be a part of that process. This ceremony is called a commencement because it's not only the end of your time at Stanford, but it's also the beginning of the next chapter in your life's adventure. We know that each one of you will forge a unique journey and that you will continue to inspire us by your passion for learning and your fearless ability to tackle complex problems. We hope that you will keep in touch so that we can continue to share and celebrate your next great achievements.